Well, I kind of just ran into my first issue. I guess I kind of assumed that <coughs> the swing arm would just slide nicely through the back motor, which it doesn't. Because the bottom of this case is, it's gonna hit the frame. This is not something I've seen in any of the pictures or any of the videos or anything that I've seen so far. So I still have to replace the swing arm bearings in here so I can be more exact, but just to kind of line it up, put a straight edge on the end of the rear sprocket, tapped it to the set it's kind of lined it up with the front sprocket. I'm going to use something more rigid, a piece of steel. Maybe with an angle on it so it won't bend. So I know it's straight and legit. But um, yeah, this is <laughs> my first of, I'm guessing, many problems. And I don't recall anyone ever mentioning that this is uh, something to deal with. All kinds of crazy ideas are going through my head of shit I probably shouldn't do. Yeah. So far, that lines up fairly decently. <sighs> I don't know. I am going to cut off this rear lower shock mount because I'm planning on using this 450R1, 06 or newer 450R1. I don't feel like dealing with a bunch of spacers and bullshit, so I'm just going to fab a new mount for that lower shock mount, but then that whole, that whole lower tube's in my way. Oh, fudge. Alright, well, I guess this is enough for now. I'll do some posting on some forms and see if I can come up with anything.